Hello and welcome to a new series I'm starting here at Mirage Gaming. It's Mizo here, of course, and today we're going to be jumping into Crusader Kings 2. Um, we're going to be playing as... I know this is called Noob Island, and this is the first, like, Paradox game I've, um, I've, you know, been fooling around with, but I've played it a good deal in my free time to try and get, a like, a basic idea of how the game works, because this is, this is a pretty hard game to learn how to play. Um... And I know, yeah, so this is Noob Island, and because I'm a noob, I do want to try and uh, make the Empire, I think. Yeah, what is it? There's the Empire thing. Kings, Dukes. Oh, it doesn't show it now. But I know you can make this all Britannia, and that's what I'm going to try to do. We're going to start out as the uh, King Merchat of Mew Mew, even though this is a duchy, so he's like a duke. I'm not too sure how this works, but we've got a vassal here, and it's normal difficulty so we're gonna try that out today so I guess we're just gonna jump right into it or you know after the after the loading screen and all you know stuff like that now please feel free in the comments if you're familiar with this game at all to let me know what I'm doing wrong because I'm almost certain I'll be doing most things wrong um, okay so we've got some gold and prestige and you know, vassals and score okay so I can press a uh, ducal claim on deus humane Deus Hugh Mahan. I'm going to butcher the pronunciation. But our ruler is unmarried. So, oh, let's turn down the effects volume. Are the game options audio? Yeah, that's a little ridiculous. Yeah, okay. So, we're, let's marry our king here. Oh, I know this. Give him the ambition to get married. We get some stuff for it. What do we get for that, actually? Ten piety, which, that helps. Hey, we have... That's more than than we have now. So let's marry. Let's see, our diplomacy and intrigue suck. And I think that's what matters a lot. And this would give me, if I marry Maria, I get a an alliance with Norway, but I know if I do that, I'll probably get called into the war over there. Hmm. And I'll join it, I suppose. But let's see what else, what are some, some other options we have? No, Denmark, we can gun hill, but she's not as good as Maria is. So let's go with Maria. Let's marry our heir off. He can marry... Hmm. She's pretty good. She's got a good diplomacy skill. Yeah, let's do that. Let's marry her. Let's check our council. Let's start fab fabricating a claim on Osrage. Or Osrage. I don't know how to say that. Let's start doing some... Troop training and... What was that? Tuad Human Khan? Let's gonna call that one Tad. Um, hmm. With our steward, we could probably we'd probably just collect taxes in, in Tad. And then we'll also scheme in Tad. And then improve religious relations with our Popa. Over in Rome. Um, anything else I need to worry about? Our laws are okay. I do want to change this to, um, was it this one? Yeah. Primo Genitura. Where the oldest is the successor. Because that to me is the simplest, and we'll probably end up putting central relation up shortly. Our tech is okay. Our military could be better. That's, that's for sure. No factions, and the Pope is not a fan. Huh. Can I hold any? I can buy? I can go on a grand hunt. I don't have the money for that now. So I guess let's play the game. We'll put it on speed 3. And we'll just wait until something happens. Okay, so, Princess M Maria and King Merchad have gotten married. We can collect a royal aid duty to pay for their ceremonies. Yes, it's everyone's concern. Or no, respect the people's wealth. I'm gonna go for the prestige on that. And... Yeah, so they got married there. That's good. We filled the ambition to get married, so let's pick a new one, which I'm gonna go with. Yeah, let's just have a kid. Or do I? I don't really want another kid necessarily. No, okay. It's a good idea in case my guy dies somehow for my heir. So we'll do that. Back on speed three. Okay, and these two have gotten married, which is perfect. Hmm. He's not a fan of us. Let's start giving out some of our honorary titles. 
we'll get some top bearer. Give you high Almoner. And you can be our master of force. Got some allies, so it's good. Oh wow, that's nice. I'm gonna attack up the speed four while we wait for something to happen. I'm pr I should probably just go immediately to war with Earl Murdak. My beloved nephew Murchad is concerned that he is still not married. I'll find him something nice or he storms out of the room. Um. He's my nephew. I don't want to marry him off to someone who's powerful. Not necessarily. Or, like, has a title. Not, you know, I don't mind. Let's just try and get someone with high intrigue into our court. Yeah, that's fine. I'll find him someone nice. He's gonna be happy with that. Yep. And then let's see what his... Okay, so his... That's how strong he is. How strong are we? Or significantly stronger. Let's immediately declare war on him. Although, now you won't become a vassal of ours. Oh, never mind. I, I didn't want to raise the vassal um, levy up much, but... Desperate times, my man. Desperate times. I know that'll piss off the guys, like our, um, our vassals and stuff, and at this early in the game, who really cares? I can call these guys to help. Yeah, let's see. Sometimes they do it. I mean, I've played as, um, oh, fuck you. Well, I've played as, like, some of the other dudes up here, and they, when I make alliances with, like, Norway or, um, Navarre, they usually help out, but let's see if we win this. I hope we do. We have a river crossing penalty, which is not good. Ooh. Heidi. Or prestige. Um. Let's try to be a good old boy and be more celibate than that. I think that sounds like a fair plan. Okay, so we won that battle there. 32 war score. Hmm. Now I've. Oh, sweet, she's, she's pregnant anyway. Now, I'm, I'm afraid to go and, you know, finish off that army. Because I'll take a lot of losses, and then I won't be able to siege out the rest of this stuff. So I think we're just going to wait a bit. And continue to lay down the siege. In an outbreak of disease, killed some of the besiegers. That's okay. I can afford that happening not many times. Okay, then they took out heavy losses. That's fine. They took... Defenders successfully raided. Oh, our numbers are dropping. This isn't too good. Can you train some more troops, man? You should... How are we doing? I could always raise and unraise. I mean, that seems viable enough. I have never played this while recording or anything, and I've always been curious as to what my FPS is for this game. Rumors of a traitor working, eroded the morale of the besiegers. Okay, our second son was born. Let's name him Don Chad. Let's do... Hmm. Carl from The Walking Dead. Carl's a badass anyway. And my second son will be the most badass motherfucker in all the realm. So we're almost done with this siege here. I don't want to assault. Okay, and they killed some more of our soldiers. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm glad I did this because this was down to the wire. I was going to record more Trouble Space Program type, but I figured, you know, I think I know enough about this game to where I can, I can definitely get away with, uh, with, with doing a video or two, to, just to see how things go, and so that's, that's the plan right now, ladies and gents, okay, okay, and we drag Cormac McCarthan, is that, he's the heir to the barony of Dunasiad, which is fine. Okay, we're being attacked now by that guy. Which is never good. Hmm. We should win. I mean, we're flanking him and stuff, so... And they're taking more casualties than we are. 
Oh, and they're also, I think they're crossing the river as well, so, oh yeah, we won that. Perfect. Okay, so we won that war. We'll enforce our demands, and boom, we get this. We'll give him the title of Master of Hunt to get some opinion up. Now, how much would it cost? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll pay him a bit just so we can get um, some more levy. Because if I get a claim on us range or OC, I, OC, we'll call it Osra. Yeah, we'll call it Osra. If I get a claim on Osra, I'm going to need every last man I can get. You know, that's not many. I could always try to, let's see. I could, I guess, try to revoke some of these counties um, so I can have more from my demands instead of from vassals because I'm I, I don't know I really hate having to pay off a lot of people just so I can get some troops I, I could change the laws too actually no that's pretty good um, feudal taxation well am I making money now I'm making money now so I'm not going to worry about that for a while I'm just going to try and keep them as happy as possible I'll throw a feast or hold a feast in November when I can um do that, and that'll increase their pain of me. And the son was born of Brian and, and the princess from Navarra, and they named him Merchad. How original. Or is that his name? Yeah, Merchad and Brian. No, oh, I name him after his papa. After good old granddaddy. Yeah, my granddaddy. Try and marry him off to her. So we get an alliance with the Holy Roman Empire, which are pretty powerful in this game. May you live in harmony and contentment. I have decided to accept your suggestion of a betrothal between Carl and Princess Adelaide. That's good for us. Look at how big the Holy Roman Empire is. We're going to have the meanest alliance with them. And that was my son. Yeah, that was my son. Let's try and get him married off to someone powerful as well. Not much. Yeah, we'll wait a bit. I'm sure someone powerful will be born. And the Pope likes us a little bit more because we improved relations. He sees how much of a benevolent and a pious ruler I really am. And he sends his regards. Well, hello to you too, Pope Alexander II. Yeah, we'll play Speed 4 for now. Just, there's not much happening. Except for, we just seem to be getting it on a lot. Good for us. I'm loving it. I could always, um, I think after I fabricate this claim, here I'm going to use my, um, my Chancellor to improve relations with these guys. And then we'll continue to carve out a lot of the rest of um, Ireland. I'm not familiar with how these map modes work. I only use the independent realm one, if I'm honest. A daughter was born of Merchad, my my nephew. Okay, that's good. Let's do some some court revisions. If I can get anyone a little bit better, I will. My half brother wants to get married as well. We're not going to marry you to a princess of France or England. Although, let's just do this one. Screw it. Boom. What was I doing? Okay. I was doing this. Spy Master is okay. And our chaplain is as good as it gets. So he accepted those guys to get married. I'm gonna play it on the highest speed it can go. My wife, Maria, has complained about being about me being absent so often. And so when I found that I had some extra gold to spend, I decided to buy her something nice, maybe some sort of jewelry. This bracelet would bring out the color in her eyes. Yeah, let's make her fall in love with me. That's a good idea. Gotta buy her off. And we had a daughter. 
Let's name her, let's see, we named our son, Carl. Let's name her Caroline, if that's how you spell it. Ah, and she's sickly. She's gonna die. I'm, I'm almost positive. An anti-pulp was set up. I'm not sure how that um, plays into the game precisely. I, I really have no idea. Hmm. Now, as far as prestige goes, like, I know she, she was just born and she's already got a bunch of prestige. I'm not sure if that's because she's a daughter of a, of a king, like a tech, like a duke technically, I suppose. Huh. Interesting. Oh, there's a war up here. Occupied by... Soyer. Or, something's going on up here. I think Scotland's occupying, um, this kingdom here. The Soyer. We're gonna, we're gonna destroy Scotland soon enough anyway. It doesn't matter. It'll probably take at least two... Him, and then his son, and then him. He will probably end up being the king of Ireland. Another son was born. Awesome. And it's auto-saving. Which I think I have said every five years it'll do that, which isn't, which isn't bad. He is Hairlip. This character is born with a Hairlip, a less than charming trait. What does that do? Same trade opinion and diplomacy minus one. So let's get a new steward because ours just broke. Let's make our son the steward. And you, my friend, can collect taxes for us. Perfect. Oh wow, okay, that sucks ass. He was killed. Tragic. Let's see what our military is like. Yeah, we're getting there, I suppose. Oh fuck, I missed the feast. Damn, I always do that. happens all the time. I mean, worst case scenario, I can go to war with Osra up there, and uh, let's say I don't have enough, like, levy, or, you know, my army's just not big, big enough, or we're gonna get crushed, recalls and some allies. I could always just, um, hmm, hire some mercenaries, but let's see, I express my views on the whole religion and God, God in quotes, thing a bit too loud and got a lot of trouble, and got into a lot of trouble with the priest because of it. God is dead, and I lost 15 piety. So our little marriage uh, piety bonus is just right out the window. Oh, and I completely forgot that. I, I was trying to grab a sip of water. Jeez. Let's, let's collect a new ambition. Ah, uh, excuse me. I'm hydrating up. Gotta get some H2O. Don't want me dehydrating, do you? Let's do... Let's do diplomacy. I think that'd be great. If And if we get up to 8... We get 100 prestige, and not only that, it'll be, um, I think, diplomacy. Yep, other characters' opinion of us, which, you know, that's always helpful. I won't go for intrigue quite yet. Let's see his skills, actually. I mean, his his intrigue is, isn't bad at all, actually. His marshal could be better. You know, so could ours. No, we have decent marshal. But we're arbitrary. Care less about justice. Content, cynical, chaste, and a tough soldier in our son is a tough soldier, envious, craven, a lustful, and just. So I think when Merchad McBrien comes of the age of six, we will, let's play it a bit, we will give him a good guardian, and I want to try to get him to trade diligent whenever I can. I'll probably end up trying to guard him personally when he becomes of age, because I feel like when I've done that before, you get more control over like the action, so he, you know, he has a better chance of being like diligent, or, you know, quick, or something like that, which is always nice, but as it stands right now, he has one tick of diplomacy and one tick of stewardship, which isn't bad for a two-year-old, and we're coming up on the feast, so let's not do, I don't care what happens next, we're gonna, we're gonna feast up hard, okay, because I'd like my friends to like, or my, my vassals, yeah, my friends, I want them to be my friends, that's, that's the plan, I could always buy indulgence for sins, and then I would really boost up piety, but I would, I would take a shit ton of money um, straight into the in the coffers of the papacy. You old wrinkly bastard. I have found this out, and I don't know if this is a thing or not, but what I like to do is, when this guy dies off, and there's a new pope, like right now, if I were to send him a gift, 
it would cost 471 ducats. What I found is when a new pope is, you know, in charge of all of Catholicism, if I get the thing where, you know, Pope Alexander died and this asshole is now the pope, I can pay him off for 20 ducats instead. And that's just what I've seen so far. I don't know if that works every time, but I'm definitely going to do that as much as I can because I do like having papal, um, like, influence and support. The best part about preparing a feast is deciding what food stuff to serve. I must purchase venison, boar, and duck. Spices, wine, and ale, honey for the desserts, cheeses, and perhaps even a swan or peacock. I will spend lavishly on food. Will I spend lavishly on food? Yeah, I will. I, let's do some prestige. The traveling dancers, first dance for us, and while dancing, yep, 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 yep. I could hire them. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hire them as well. And it's time to feast up. It sounds like a great idea. So I know I think I need, like, this swath to make Ireland, or I think it's just like this. There's a talented town crier, capture the attention of peasants, hear ye, hear ye. Oh, cool, I gained some diplomacy. Beautiful, that should also raise up the opinion just a bit. Yeah, so let's see what my relative strength is, or relative strength lens. I don't know what it's called in this game. Okay, hold on, who needs to be guarded? Donald Mac Malachi. He is my kinsman, his father is my nephew. Yes, you do. Um, if he's my nephew, then him and my son are cousins, and this is his second cousin, I think. Let's just make my nephew deal with him. Yeah, that, that seems fair enough, you know? Um, but what was I saying before? Yeah, I think we need, like, this, and then we can make Ireland, and then just kind of, like, steamroll the rest of Ireland. And then we're gonna have, like, ten years of stagnation while we try and bullshit claims on Scotland. But the reason why I'd like to get a lot of papal influence is, let's say... Mayor Cohn spoke up. Okay. Whatever. Um, let's say, like, we have more troops than Scotland. Or Scotland has, like, a rebellion, and they're already, like, you know... Or they just got out of rebellion, their military is weak. If the Pope really, really likes us... We can invade Scotland, we can request an invasion, and then we get all of Scotland when we win. And that's what I'm going to try to do with Scotland. And as far as England goes, like, I've done this once before where I have this. I take, I have all of Ireland and all of Scotland, and my, my character held, you know, he was the king of Ireland and the king of Scotland, and he's like the count of this and like the duke of this. I had a point of stagnation where I could not contend with Ireland. I couldn't get any CB on Ireland, or on England in it at all. Um, I thought the food was superb, the wine mediocre, and the dancers beautiful. Some of the more inebriated guests joined the dancers, and a quality I think I'll join them too. Fuck yeah, let's get our boogie on. Last of the guests returned home, everyone agreed it was this year's greatest feast, and that's what we try to accomplish, and everyone loves us, no one stormed out, or no one turned down our invitation. So now the relative strength of our little realm here is 2.31k, and his is 2.04k, which is not bad at all, actually. Um, so we're, we're, we're basically just sitting here with our thumbs up our ass until we can get a claim on Osrange. Just make sure, I could offer to vassalize him, I could even excommunicate him. And I know when you excommunicate, you do get a CB on whoever is that's, uh, uh, you get a few, yeah, I just trip over my words all the time. I do stutter occasionally, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we do get a CB on someone when they're excommunicated, we can just be like, waltz in, boom, Pope who likes us more. I'm not sure if we get a claim to their land, or like, if we get to demand um, their titles from them. I'm, I'm really not sure how that works, I just know, I've, I think I've, I've done it once, and I might have even lost the war, I think I was just that excited to just jump in and start snatching up land from people. Okay, if you want to prove your skill diplomacy, you need to become a confident public speaker, swaying the hearts and minds of men with simple words is not an easy thing. But you have started practicing in front of a mirror. Things can only improve. You talking to me? Are you talking to me? Okay, perfect. That's that's actually kind of funny. So our yeah, no, our our diplomacy is it's really banging up there. It's gonna be nice. I think next we're gonna go for either intrigue or stewardship, depending on the needs. And let's actually try. I feel like if we kill him, my liege. Okay, let me reinforce my. I feel like if we kill him, it'd be easier to fabricate a claim. Up. Let's do that first. Is anyone gonna join me? Okay, she joined that. She's the. Ah, oh, 
his own spy master and I think his wife. Yes, yeah, spy master and wife hates him. That's interesting, actually. I wonder why that is. Okay, but my wife is pregnant once more. We can we just we're like rabbits over in the in the petty kingdom of Mew Mew. So that's 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 looking okay so far. I can't pay off anyone yet to help kill him. Let's see, seeing another woman behind my spouse's back is becoming quite troublesome for me. The lies tear at my soul. My longing to be with my lover is almost too much. It's time to end such affairs and settle down. We'll get a 25% chance of being chased, which gives us some learning and fertility. Although, I don't mind this, actually, because the church will like me more. And I've already had so many kids that it doesn't even matter. But I can don't care for my spouse, and then I'll get lustful. Which gives me more intrigue, and the church hates it. Or I can become cruel, but my vassals will hate it. Or I can just get stressed, and I don't really want that. Huh. I think I'm gonna break it off. And I didn't gain chase, I don't think. Oh, because I'm already chase. Chast. Whatever. Oh, well, I suppose there's not much we can do about that now. In hindsight, that I should have just looked to see what traits I had. Let's hold another fee so I can actually. We're not doing much else anyway at the time. Just kind of rambling on, hoping that Osra over here gets a, uh, a little bullshit claim. Let's spend lavishly on food once more. And boom, that's easy enough. Is he already engaged in a war, actually? Let's, just, yeah, let's see. Peasants complained about the arbitrary steward. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. I could try and stir descent, or so descent. Ugh, so descent. We could try that. Who does that? So descent. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'd like to do that. I thought the food was superb, the wine mediocre. Okay. Everyone enjoyed themselves, I'm sure. Ooh, got a bunch of little messages here. Merchad, my nephew contracted consumption. My grandson also. My... My son's second cousin, or my nephew's son, there we go, my great nephew, also has it. My wife, oh, that sucks. Huh. My spy master has imprisoned the heir to the bishopric, the bishopric of Dune Caspiel. Oh, and that's another thing I can do, I completely forgot. We took a prisoner, oh no, I guess not, but he was probably released. I think I'll join them as well. Yeah, but let's dance again. Get real drunk. More prestige. More opinion. So, slowly but surely, they're starting to love me a little bit more, which is always good. I really want him to like me more so I can get more troops. He's got available. He could provide me at most uh, 1,150. And boy, would that boost up uh, my ranks here. So, let's see what we could do to make him like me more. Now, him being my spy master, if he hates me, he could probably plot to kill me, and I know his... Let's see what his intrigue score is. He has... His intrigue is there. He's He's got 12 intrigue. It's not bad at all. I could designate him my regent, but I'm not too sure if I'd like to do that. Let's do this now, actually. I'd like to make my heir my regent, because I feel like that's the proper thing to do in case, you know, I do pass away and the daughter was born. Let's see. Sness. Let's name her... Lori. Rick. Let's name her Lori. Um... If I were to pass away, I'd like to keep this kind of in the family. So, him being my regent and my heir, uh, I guess it doesn't matter. But, you know, I don't want... Eh, yeah, but so what? It's free opinion. It's whatever. And he likes me more. Gavel kind succession. Let's actually change that now if we can. What do I have to do? I have to rule for at least ten years. Okay. Yeah, I just have to reign for ten years. That's not... That's totally doable. So let's keep on keeping on here. And again, I know this might... I don't know, it just feels slow to me in the beginning of this game. Um, and mainly because I have no fucking clue what I'm doing at all. So, let's, let's actually check our navy just for fun. Oh, yeah, we got navy forever. I, I haven't even gotten a retinue yet. I don't know if you need a DLC for that or not, but whatever. Um, I'm playing for like was it nine years, I think. Eight years, something like that. Okay, my nephew contracted consumption, my daughter contracted consumption, and my kinsman's also contracted consumption. So, speaking of that, I don't know how much, like, 
Like, what does having consumption do? Tell the terrible scourge of tuberculosis. Yikes. Can I build anything here? Huh. I can't. Oh well. Who else contracted it? My nephew again. All my nephews are just getting consumed. Okay, more reinforcements. Does that do anything outright? Nope, let's reassign you to do something else. Let us research military tech, because that should always be a thing. Yeah, so I want to get... Is it military organization up to seven? It's four, five, six, seven. I gotta get here, so I can get the, uh, the retinue. Yeah. Hmm. But we've just got so much TB in the area right now. Let's see who else got it. My half brother. I'm oh, not bad. And I'm stressed. Great. So on that note, that's where I'm going to cut the part off for here. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, let me know if I'm doing anything wrong in the comments or what I should be doing, what my aims and goals should be. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I'll I need to beg for help with. I don't think so now, but if you do like the video, make sure you smack that like button. And if you uh, have anything to say, just leave a comment or dislike it. Or if you got something nasty to say or you hate me, just let me know. That's what we're about. So that's where I'm going to cut this off here and uh, have a nice one.